Some only tickets are all that was left here in Fargo, North Dakota. The Bison winners of the coin toss, they defer, and so Montana State will begin on offense. The Bobcats last year, Olivia eliminated by NDSU, a bit of a revenge game. The blitz is on, and the sidearm throw is incomplete from Rovig, intended for Travis Johnson, the senior receiver. Five, third down and three for the Bison. They swing it to the outside, and Jimmy Kapouris, a redshirt senior receiver, makes the grab. And off to Brooks, who's got some room to wiggle, and another first down. And off to Brooks, who bounces to the outside. Freshman running back in motion, fake it to him, and Lance is the runner. He spins his way out of the first wave of tacklers, keeps going all the way down to the 15-yard line. See what he decides here. Lance off to the left side. He slips a tackle. He's into the end zone. Touchdown, Bison. The first quarter here in Fargo, North Dakota. The handoff on first down goes to Mark Estes, the seldom used wide receiver, and that's the biggest play of the day for the Bobcats. It's McCutcheon, a big target, 6-3. He came across the formation, and it sets up the pass into the backfield to Afonso. He's inside the 20, and down inside the 10-yard line. Afonso in the backfield, Cassis out wide. Rovig gives it up for Afonso, who's stuffed again. He lost yardage on the play. Fine. North Dakota State aware. Johnson, the Wildcat quarterback, and he's in untouched. He goes right up the middle after the fake handoff, and the Bobcats are an extra point away from evening things up with the Bison. Get him involved in this game. Time in the pocket, plenty of time downfield, and there you go. As you called it, it's a touchdown heave to Christian Watson. 75 yards for Lance's 26th touchdown of the year. Bison back in front. Quarterback in this game last year. A 52 to 10 defeat by the Bison. Another huge burst to start off the drive. Christian Watson back to back touches and back to back touchdowns. Haven't got a chance to see him. Outstanding football player. And they dial up something fun to go for two to tack on a couple more at the end of the play. It's been a couple times that Bauman, who's completed 62% this year, has had to throw off his back foot. A quick swing pass and the Bison all over it. Logan Jones swallowed up as they lose yardage on the play and they'll have to punt again. Timeout just kind of hit in almost like an offensive lineman. No one accounted for him for it. A two-point conversion. Watson gets his third straight touch. On the third down run, another Bison first down as they've come into this game in all different sports. And I think probably the key stat on that one is that they've, they're trying to do it now with three different head coaches, right? You think about the coaching lineage here. Checking to the right play. Lukey, the fullback, clears out some space for some running room and Lance already with a rushing touchdown under state. Another handoff and a stretch for the first down for Adam Cofield. Air Force, Navy, but man. They send it out wide, and that's another Bison touchdown. Jimmy Kaporis, who went from school to school, to his final stop, and now his final season, the six-yard grab. Makes it 28 to 7. They bring just four. Pocket breaks down and Rovick goes down as well. How to be a college athlete, how to study, how to practice. In back deep. Lance 13 for 16. Now make it 14 of 17 on the first down completion them by more than one touchdown. Ball loose at the end of that play. The Bobcats indicate possession is theirs. The referees go human bloom and onion on this to peel away the layers and signal that Montana State has recovered the football. For 50, right in the middle of your screen. He's fighting off the double team, but just sometimes you just got to stick a paw out. 
You find the ball carrier, you stick the ball out, knocks it out. That's an outstanding job by Benson, fighting off a double team, locating the ball carrier. A one safety look from the Bison. Rovig going deep, exactly what you called for, Kirk, and the pass is complete to Kevin Cassis. A 41-yard touchdown, giving a burst of life to Montana State here in the third quarter. All sorts of time for Lance, who's on the move, set his feet, and now comes back across the field. He heaves downfield. This pass is complete to Dimitri Williams, streaking up the sideline and gone. A broken play becomes one of the biggest of the day. A 73-yard touchdown from Lance to Williams. About his friends, I talked about the Bison Brotherhood. Bison Brotherhood blocking, helping each other out. Johnson with the catch, slipped one tackle. Call is confirmed, Rovig headlong right up the middle after they had split him out wide. Just a four-man rush, they double Tuska, pass to the sticks is caught, and Johnson, after his momentum took him behind the chains, moves them with a gain of 11. The rush comes quickly, Tuska with the sack, and it's a turnover on downs. They've called him along this defense, and certainly, statistically, emotionally, one of their leaders as well. Well, if the Bison felt comfortable, they've got to feel even better now. What a way to start this drive. Self among one of the best teams and programs of this decade. Lance on the run, he stretches, and he is in. Another rushing touchdown for number five. Go. They're lined up for another trick play for a two-point conversion. Trying to get it to Cody Mock again, who caught one earlier in the game. The pass is incomplete in the country. It's a first down run for Ifonse. Rovig with a wobbler down the middle, and it's intercepted. Here come the Bison toward midfield. And the route is on inside the Fargo Dome. Hands of the Bison with a short field. Pick up of almost 15 on first down for Ty Brooks. When you try to put the game away, and your guy can get it back. And there's really not a great basis for comparison. For down it was a clear path and then a turf monster appearance to bring down Cofield you just I don't know if this team is probably gonna lose this season the freshman Krosa sends it wide I would go for it well here's the fake so they do go for it from the punt formation and just by a yard they get it as well they it starts right here with the blocking up front and then Fitzgerald on the right they hand off the ball to him with direct snap to him Another first down. Under pressure, there's Coy Steele who makes the catch. Down inside the 30-yard line. It would speed it up just a little bit. But definitely they're almost kind of running out the clock. Fourth down, Montana State. A low snap for Rovig. He recovers. A sidearm throw. Complete to Johnson. Trying to stretch it out. With a kneel down coming. And Zeb Nolan, the backup quarterback, gets to come on the field to finish it off. And a chilly ending to what otherwise was a warm feeling throughout the afternoon as the Bison continue their longest winning streak in FCS history. They're going to the championship game for the eighth time in the last nine years.